Welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Tying on or adding a new thread is an essential step when you're making every pine needle basket. There are different methods to use in different situations. I have several videos outlining these methods and showing how to do them. I hope you'll watch them all. Thanks! Today's demonstration is showing how to tie on a new thread using the top of the coil method. This is a very good method to use when you're using sinew. Um, I, I usually use the hidden knot method, but I find with sinew, the knot just kind of slides out and um, it's difficult. So I use the top of the coil method. To do this, what you do is take your needle off your thread, get your new thread, I'm going to needle my thread, put the eye of one over the thread, if I can do that. Put the eye of the needle down right over the thread, like that. Now I'm going to pretend, act like, just like I'm taking my next stitch. So I'm going to be working with this next stitch right there. What I do is go over the back. I'm using the split stitch, so I'm gonna continue with the split stitch. I put my darning needle right into the center of the thread, and I come out right in the center of the thread on the front. Okay, my old thread is just hanging there. Pliers and pull that through. I find with sinew, I need to use my pliers a lot more than with waxed linen. Okay, so I pull that up till I have a tail that's a few inches long. It doesn't matter how long. Next, I tie those two threads together in a knot. Now I want to watch my placement and gauge where my next row is going to be so that I can be sure and cover that. I tie that in a knot. Try and get a square knot if I can and pull that tight. Okay, next step, I twist those two threads together. Twist them together. Twist them together and lay that across the top of the coil. Now I go to my new thread and I start stitching. So I go into the center of the thread I come out in the center of the thread and I pull it through and I stitch right over that thread that's going running along the top of my coil. I stitch right over that. I'm gonna take another stitch. I like to take two or three stitches in this method. So I take another stitch Watch where my where that's going so it's so that I can cover that up when I come around with my next row. I'm going to take one more. Take one more stitch. Cover that up. All right, now I can take my scissors and I can trim that trim those two threads down. Trim those down. Now I've got my new thread and I'm ready to go. The, like I said, the thing you want to watch is placing that so that when you come around with your next row, you can cover that thread completely so that it becomes invisible. So that's the top of the coil method to tie on a new thread. You can also use this with any other kind of thread, but I find it especially helpful when I'm using sinew. So thanks for watching. I'm Linda. Hi, I'm Linda. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click the subscribe button and ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified next time I post a new video. Hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot.